So the U.S. technically was going backwards with this. We went from a semi-auto, um, right? The M twenty one, right? Yes. We dropped back to the M twenty four as a bolt action, and I mean, there's there's a massive difference between the sniper doctrine as well. If you think about the French forces earlier, when I was talking to you about the French Foreign Legion, as some of the most light and nimble and fastest strike forces that uh, NATO had. The FRF2 kind of encapsulates that. You know, it's it's got the bipod that can be used in very uh, varied uh, terrain, to where you could shoot at in alpine conditions at you know low low or high uh, angles, and then you had the extremely well balanced center of gravity and the light weight to where you can shoot in very awkward positions, uh, standing, crouching, kneeling on a tree or anything like that. Um, whereas the American doctrine at this point really progressed towards the one shot, one kill fixed box magazines. Um, they really honed in on that single shot accuracy, which not to say that the French don't have a single shot accuracy, but certainly the focus wasn't just on accuracy for the French. It was also for the individual soldiers, mobility and shooting positions and, a box-fed magazine versus a uh, fixed magazine in the M24. So massive changes or massive differences between sniper doctrine between the two countries. I hope you enjoyed that excerpt. Now, if you would like to see the entirety of that discussion, the full-length video is actually right here. Now, if you would like to see other videos that are similar to this or you may find interesting, feel free to check these out. Regardless, we thank you for your attention. We'll see you around.